Um, so now we're going to go back to assembling the, um, the motor mount. The motor mount is what holds the rocket engine into the rocket. So like, this is a rocket engine. Um, I've already fired this one, which is why it's black on the bottom. But basically what happens is you'll put the motor in and it gets latched into that hook and it prevents it from either going forward or coming out the back. So that is the purpose of the engine mount. Um, it's made up of a couple of parts. You have the white paper tube, you have the engine hook, um, and you have two green centering rings and a blue centering ring. Um, and the first step is to mark the tube two and a quarter inches from the rear. So whatever we're marked from the rear, this, you know, this is going to be the rear, so I'll just put an R by it. So that means rear, rear of the tube. And I want to go two and a quarter inches up from the bottom. So right there. Um, and at that point, I want to cut a one eighth inch wide slot. You don't have to be exact, but um, one eighth inch wide is the width of this uh, metal hook. So this is the part where you're going to have to use a hobby knife. Um, and this. Again, this is going to be, you want to, if you're around kids, you want to be very careful. Um, you know, guide the kids in this step. But basically, I just take the knife and I just plunge it into the tube like that. So it's a pretty simple step. And basically, what you want is that this end of the hook goes into that slot we just cut. There it goes. Okay, just like that. All right. And then we're going to take a long strip of masking tape, like it says in the instructions, and find the middle. Um, this has a slight bend to it. That's good. Um, that slight bend actually helps. Um, so you just take it and wrap that masking tape around several times. And basically the purpose of this tape is just to keep that metal hook from sliding back and forth. Okay, and then I take my fingernails and I, I smoosh down the tape right along the edges so that it's, it's nice and tight in there. And it should be able to bend upwards. Um, don't bend it too hard, because if you, if you bend it too hard, you're going to bend the metal and then um, it's not going to hold the motor securely. At that point, just like that. So that's good. All right. Now we're going to take this blue ring, we're going to take this and we're going to glue it on the inside of this tube. So I'm going to take my wood glue again because we're gluing paper to paper. It doesn't take much. You see, I got, I got plenty in there. You can bring a dowel. But you usually take a wood dowel or the back of a pencil and you can just smear it around in there like that. And then we're going to take the blue ring and just slide it in. And it's going to, remember that part that went into the tube, it's going to slide right up against there. And I can push it in with my finger. Um, sometimes when you're pushing it in, it gets kind of cocked in there. Um, a little tip I do with my rocket motor. You, you can take a rocket motor and push it in there flush. And the rocket motor will, will make it nice and flush in there. Just like that. All right. Okay, now um, our next step, the, glue ring, uh, the blue ring is already glued in. The next step is we need to cut another notch into, into one of the green rings. And this is, again, this is where we're going to use a hobby knife. Um, if you're working with kids, I would recommend the adult do this step. This is the hardest step in the whole process, is just cutting this ring. Because it's, it's big and fat. Um, you can see I take my fingers, I put them on each side so that I don't, I'm not going to poke myself. And then just use a short sawing action to cut through there. Um, and I need to make it as wide as that metal hook. So I need to make two of them. Okay, so there's the piece I cut out and I got a little notch in there. And that notch is going to go right here. And this ring gets glued right on the end of this white tube. So I put some glue on there, 
I'm going to smear it around with my finger, take the excess, put it on the inside of the ring. And smear it around. Now if your ring, this is made up of multiple layers of paper, this green ring, and if your your paper starts to delaminate, so like half of it's coming apart, I'll, I'll just pry it open to show you what it looks like. See like that? If you're if you're cutting with a dull blade, that's typically what happens and that's your your key to know that you need to change your knife blade out. But if that happens to you, uh, just take a little bit of the, the wood glue and just smear it in there. Basically, we're just gluing it back together, just like that. Okay, no harm, no foul. You know, don't, don't get upset if things don't go perfectly the first time. We can fix things. If you ever have problems, just give us a call here at Apogee Components. You know our website. Um, it's www.apogeerockets.com. Okay, so we're just going to glue that green ring onto the end of the tube so that the engine hook can go up and down like that. All right, so now typically I would allow this to dry, but I'm a little pressed for time here, so I'm going to go ahead and go forward. Okay, so now this part here is going to be glued into this, the yellow fin unit. And we're not going to use the wood glue for this because we're gluing to plastic. Whenever we're gluing to plastic, we're going to use the plastic model cement or the uh, super glue. Um, but go ahead and just test fit it first. Make sure that it fits uh, once it does. Um, it doesn't matter where the engine hook is relative to the fins. Um, I'll typically just line it up with one of the fins just to, you know, to make it look cool. Um, so again, here we're going to use plastic model cement. And basically the way this works is it actually melts the plastic. Um, it's really not a good bond when we're, when, we're, when we're doing paper to plastic, but plastic to plastic, you know, that's in there permanent. So this is, you know, already dry. Um, in this case, you know, if you had the choice, super glue would be better, but plastic model cement will work. Um, so just go ahead and just slide that in there. And again, I'm going to try to spin it around so that my hook is in line with one of the fins. And then push it in as far as it will go. It's going to stop. It's just going to be in there just like that. Now the engine hook should be able to still go up and down um, for this purpose, to put the engine in. Just like that. All right, we're moving right along here. Okay, our next step is to take the other green ring and we're going to glue it onto the forward tube like this. And again, now we're going, going paper to paper. So now we're going back to wood glue. My, my glue is drying here, so I had to wipe off the tip. Like before, just put it on there and just smooth it out. Any excess, I'm going to take on my finger and put it on the inside of this ring. So we get a nice glue bond in there. All right, and then just slide it in. Come on. And this one we want flush with the end of the tube also. Just like that. 